Let us now talk about Inkwell. So when we consider designing an application, we have to make sure that it follows the material design guidelines. So in, by the guidelines, we have to add the ripple animation to widgets when they are tapped. So how do we do that in Flutter? Now Flutter provides the Inkwell widget to add the ripple animation. So basically what it is, is that it creates a rectangular area of a material that responds to touch. So how do we do this? The first thing we do is, well, of course, we need to create a widget to tap. Otherwise, we won't have anything to tap at all. So we make a child inside the body, inside the center widget, because we want to keep it at the center of the screen. And we create a container. And in the container, we add some padding just for the heck of it. We, <laughs> we add a padding and we add some text. Let's call it uh, a flat button because it's pretty flat. It's white and no design, so it's pretty flat. A flat button. Perfect. Now we perform a hot reload. Now the text of this flat button is really small. So let's increase the size for the text as well. So we'll make it 25, because we always do. And it's one of my favorite numbers. Great. The text is visible now. So now what we have to do by concept is to wrap this widget inside an inkwell widget to manage the tap callbacks and to create that ripple animation. So we create a child. And we wrap the button inside the inkwell. Let me just add a few brackets here. This looks good. And now inside this inkwell, we make it tappable by using the, of course, the on tap method. And inside the on tap method, we need to assign some action to it. So we make a print statement and we say tapped so that it prints tapped onto the terminal when it is pressed. And that is pretty much it. We make a hot reload and click the button and you can see that it responds with the ripple effect to every tap that we make. Well, that is it. That's Inkwell. And we will see you in the next video.